Hey guys, in this video I going to design and make an LED chaser with 81 LEDs. This is the circuit. It's made by two counter IC4017 and a triple five IC4 clock pulse generation. This diode is not necessary. I used it for a reverse battery polarity protection. The IC4017 is an counter IC with the 10 outputs. The pin number 3 is the first output. The pin number 2 is the second output. The pin number 4 is the third output and so on. The pin number 14 is a clock pulse input which connected to the output of 555 IC. Triple 5 IC here used for making clock pulse with adjustable frequency. When you're running this circuit, the output of both 4017 ICs, which is the pin number 3, uh, will be high and all other outputs will be low. The first output of the second counter IC is switched on the first transistor and connected the ground to the first LED column. In this case the current flow from pin 3 to the ground through first LED and is glowing. With the first clock pulse come from triple 5 IC, the first output turns off and this time the second output turns on. This cycle repeated again and again. But as you can see, there are no change in the second counter. Because there are no clock pulse the pin number 14. The last output is pin 11 but as you can see I connected this pin to the clock pin of the second counter so in this time the output number 2 connect the second LED column to the ground and this cycle repeated again and again No, I'm going to make a PCB for this circuit. I designed the PCB layout and generate a Gerber file. Then I go to PCBWay.com. This company is a Chinese PCB manufacturer with high quality and good price. Which makes 10 PCBs for only 5 bucks. After login, I click on code and order. Here, you should input the size of your PCB and the quantity. You can also select the color and the thickness of the PCB board. Select your country and shipping way then click on add to cart. Then upload your Gerber file and go to the payment. After about 50 days, I received my order.
as you can see, the quality is very good. I checked the dimensions and the thickness of the PCB. It is exactly as the order description. Now I'm going to soldering the components. Mm. 